Currently, I'm a PhD student at UTAS. I work between the schools of architecture and design and the schools of engineering. My background is in mechanical engineering. Back in the States, I, I designed aircraft engines for eight years, but I wanted to get away from that and get more into the area of sustainable design and I wanted to help everyday people in their everyday lives. Architects and building designers use software to help them design homes to make sure that they don't get too hot or don't get too cold. And what I'm doing is testing the accuracy of that software with measured data. Not only how accurate the software is, but also how we can improve it. The software was originally designed using only theoretical physics, so there's never been much actual data to compare it against. And industry groups and other researchers were calling for an independent assessment of the software to be done, and that's where UTAS comes into play. I gather my data from a test cell on the Newnham campus in Launceston, and what a test cell is, is a small instrumented model house, basically. So I've got plenty of instrumentation in there. For example, I'm measuring air temperature. I've got that recording every 10 minutes throughout the year. What I do is look at that air temperature, then go back and compare that to the temperature that the software model predicts. From that, I can state what the accuracy of the software is. The important next step is to then say, how can we make it better? And that's where I'm going to use those 65 other parameters that I've got. I can then use that, do some calculations, and that will tell me where exactly to look in the software to make some improvement. The nature of my research requires collaboration between different groups of people. So I've got supervisors from both schools, the schools of architecture and design and the schools of engineering, and they have both been really willing and able to work with me and also each other. The end goal of my research is to have a building simulation software tool that's really robust and accurate. That's going to help the architects and building designers build better homes. But at a more everyday level, I really like doing the research I do because it applies to so many people. It applies to anybody who has a place they call home. And those people will now be able to live more comfortably in their homes, and that will help them reduce their electricity usage. That not only would help them in their power bills, but it also helps the earth to have reduced energy usage.